Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm starting this one off a little bit different. We have a little box in the garden. Uh, Kai was sat here doing his homework at the table. Well, his schoolwork at the table. And heard a bang. And a bird has flown into the window, knocked itself out, then flew into the fence and knocked itself out. So I've just popped it in a little box. The little Kachua sugar paste box is coming handy. So it's just sitting in there until it comes round, um, keeping it safe from cats and things. But we do have a few other birds frantically flying around the garden as if they're looking for it. So I don't know if it's a baby one. It doesn't look too small, but I'm going to check on it after um, and release it and see if it can fly. All right, we're going to check on it now, see if it's well enough to fly. I'll give you the camera. Let's see if it's still in there or if it's flown away yet. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, well enough to fly. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I spent all the rest of yesterday at the computer editing. I wasn't editing any tutorials. I was actually editing really, really old videos that I had on some hard drives. So I have been filming stuff since probably before YouTube was even a thing. I have always had a video camera. I have always filmed holidays, when the kids were younger and I have hours and hours and hours of footage. But because they've all been filmed on different cameras, some of them were on phones, some of them were on the cameras that actually held little discs in the side, that's how old they were. A lot of them now either don't play or they're corrupt or they're just a f in a file format that is no longer used. So I've just gone through them all um, and tried to just pick little bits out of each one and string them into one long video. One just to save save the old old videos and two it gives us something to watch and keep. All yesterday and most of today till about two o'clock I have been editing that video. It is an hour long which doesn't seem like a lot com compared to how many videos I have but I've had to sit through hours and hours of footage mainly of them opening the presents at Christmas. They will open one little piece of paper and then another little strip of paper and I've had to sit through hours of that and try and chop it down a little bit. So it is now done. It won't fit on a stick so that I can plug it into the telly to watch um, because the file is too big so I've actually put it on YouTube as a pri vid private video so I can stream it and that's what we're going to watch. Probably in about half an hour the kids are just finishing the tea, we've just had pasta Adam is upstairs, he's been cleaning the bedroom today while I've been editing. And I didn't realise how warm it's been today. It's actually been a really gorgeous day and I've been sat in here at the computer because the front room, it doesn't get the sun until later on. So around about now the sun starts coming in through here. I've got the blinds shut though. Um, so it feels really cold all day and you don't really take note of what the weather's like outside. So it's been roasting and we've completely missed the sunny weather and we've all been we've all been inside so hopefully it might be a bit better tomorrow we might might go out for a walk because we didn't go out at all last week so i've gone and put my pajamas on because the cooler it is a top and shorts and can we just discuss the pajamas i don't know if i vlogged these last year if i didn't i will put a picture on but this used to have the genie on where's the lamp there there's the lamp and it used to have the genie coming out of the lamp. It appears we have set him free because he has completely disappeared. I now just have a blue Aladdin t-shirt with a lamp and stars on the bottom. <laughs> we have freed Robin Williams. So now we're just going to sit down and watch this for an hour. Completely embarrassing, cringe-worthy footage that the kids have to watch of themselves from when they were babies singing, dancing, tiny little toddler voices. We're gonna sit and enjoy that for an hour. Also, I forgot who it was that mentioned these. These are the duvet pins. Um, someone suggested to get some of these after they saw Kai's duvet. The actual duvet itself was all bunched up in the bottom of the duvet cover. This is Abby's, um, but we got the pins from Amazon. I think they were about 13 pounds. Um, and this is just basically a massive drawing pin that goes through the cover, through the actual duvet and then it's fastened at the other side with one of them which will not come off without a special magnet. So the pin is obviously covered and secure in there and won't come out. 
um, but I'll link them below if anybody wants to have a look at them and thank you to the person who alerted me to these we have now put them on Abby's duvet and we're just about to put them on Kai's which will hopefully stop the random bulging of the duvet in the bottom I've got my first cake order well cake stuff order in a few months because obviously I've not been making cakes I don't actually have any orders for another couple of weeks but I did want to play around with some stuff that I've not used before so I've ordered lots of different colours these are fractal coloured gels and I just got yellow, purple, pink, blue and white um, the other gels I used to use were sugar flare um, but I only really use them for painting so I bought these to kind of colour see if I can colour white chocolate ganache um, just to see how that's going to look. I got the white to obviously take a bit of the yellow out of the ganache first before then putting a colour in. I also got lots of different sprinkles so these are Wilton sprinkles these are tiny little pineapples and tiny little pink flamingos I also got some other tubs from Purple Cupcakes White Shimmer Pearls These are Metallic Vermicelli And some more Wilton Rainbow Confetti So these are your little dots But I just liked the colour scheme of the dots Because um, the other one come in like rainbow These are more like your pastel There's no blues or anything in these um, God, this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be I ordered the brand new Colour Mill these are colours specifically for anything using a lot of fat so your buttercreams or your chocolate this is good for um, because it's oil based and not water based so we all know that water and chocolate doesn't mix and water and oil doesn't mix um, or fats so these are specifically designed to colour anything fatty they are quite expensive, I think they're about at least £5 a bottle and I wasn't expecting the bottle to be so small but I'm sure uh, it said a little goes a long way so I just bought the white again to turn any ganache or chocolate um, a base colour before then colouring it so I'll let you know how I get on with that one then I've ordered a lot of my usual Renshaw's colours black, brown, all the bits that I was running out of I have ordered two boxes of my white couture, this is what I cover nearly all of my cakes in because um, then I'll just airbrush it or colour it with the other Renshaw's colours and then I just stocked up on my usual handy drums 10 inch, 11 inch and 6 inch I think because that's what I was running out of and I bought a pack of Renshaw's Extra, it looks like they've changed their packaging a little bit this is it. I've not seen this before but the Renshaw's Extra means it's just a bit firmer than the usual stuff so that is what I've got I'm going to see if I can play with my sprinkles now Today has not been a good day Why? <laughs> it's, it's not been a good day for me I've had a bad day just a annoying day Adam's been sat watching Downton Abbey and I've got loads and loads of projects half done waiting to be finished so I've got lots of YouTube tutorials to shoot and I can't do any of them because certain stuff hasn't arrived and I can't do one video without doing the other and I can't do that one until more bits start arriving so the kitchen's a mess full of lots of different projects um, and none of them I can get done and I feel annoyed <laughs> Ratty I feel annoyed that I can't get them done I can't get them finished I don't like starting something and having to wait so I don't know when the other stuff's going to get here and the food shop doesn't come until about 10 o'clock tomorrow night so we've got no food left and I just want food Cake. <laughs> just cake or something um, so we've ended up digging to the right to the bottom of the freezer and finding those little mini party pies left over from Christmas. Did you check the date on them? What are they out of date? Are they in date? Oh. So we're having tiny mini steak pies, which you'll be having them. And what's the other ones? 
Ch is it chicken and leek or cheese and leek? Chicken and leek. And I'll be eating some chicken and leek pies at half nine at night. Um, we're just watching something called Hinterland. So we finished Line of Duty, finished all the seasons of that, and then on Netflix there is one called Hinterland, which was recommended to us. So we're now on season three of that because there's only about four or five episodes each. Um, they don't have to stare at each other, do they, for a long, a long time? They do a lot of staring at each other. <laughs> All the time. So we're just going to watch that, eat some pies, and then hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Mini pies! To make sure we don't run out of snacks before the shopping arrives, we're going to make some duff nuts. <laughs> or... Muff nuts or whatever you want to call them, but they're basically a mixture between muffins and donuts. Um, but Adam's going to be making this one, we don't need the mixer for it. So we've got 125 ml of milk that goes in the bowl. Then you want 85 ml of veg oil, one egg, that's it, and then open it. There you go. And then whisk it up. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> then you need 100 grams. I'll put more in there. <laughs> Where's that spoon go? <laughs> 100 grams of sugar and 200 grams of self raising flour. So we put the sugar and the flour into the bowl and then you just want to gently fold it all together don't mix it too much apparently it's absolutely fine if it's still lumpy I think <laughs> then it's a spoon of mix followed by a spoon of jam <laughs> and covered up with more mix Looks a bit like rice pudding. I was going to say porridge. <laughs> porridge. <laughs> right, they've been in for about 20 minutes and now we're just topping them with sugar. Dusting the tops with caster sugar. You can see a little bit of jam sneaking out the bottom of that one. Still a little bit warm yet. <laughs> These are going to be all gone by, well, tonight, aren't they? <laughs> uh, that mix made 14 altogether. They usually mix anywhere between 12 and 14. I also need to share my eBay find. I really needed some new slippers. Um, ignore the, the fluffy polar bear Christmas socks. Um, but I find these little cute dragon slippers. They've got little wings, little ears, spikes and his eyes are in there somewhere but these were only five pounds they should have been sold on I think it was called Boat Avenue because they come with a ticket on saying that they should have been 18 pounds um, and they must be seconds and sold on eBay for a fiver because I bought size three to four because I've only got size three feet however they're very big <laughs> but with a bargain of five pound, I don't mind them being too big. We're just on our way back from Aldi. We did get our shopping from Asda last night, but there's quite a lot of it missing. So we plan our meals for the week of what we're gonna eat, and then we only buy the ingredients for those meals, so we don't end up wasting loads of food. Um, but when, obviously when something doesn't arrive and it's the main part of that meal, um, you have to go and replace it. So we've just got some like chicken and mince and stuff from Aldi and nipped into Home Bargains. We've been to the post office and dropped off some of your parcels, so hopefully if you've ordered like a planner, it should be with you soon. Yesterday I edited the Beast tutorial. It's not finished yet, that's what I'm going to finish when I get in. Hopefully that is already up and you've seen that because that will go up on Tuesday. I also was built building somebody's website so I've got another website on the go this is for Feebalicious Cakes I'm roughly about halfway there with that one um, I'm just waiting for some more information so I can get that one finished so that's all we're that's all I'm getting up to today more editing what are you doing 
idea. <laughs> no idea. No plans, nothing to do. in the middle of nowhere we've come across a tiny little lamb on its own it looks super skinny we cannot find its mum anywhere it's we're, we're near a quarry so there's a quarry over there but we can't find any other sheep around but it looks super skinny and we have no idea what to do What do you do with a super skinny little lamb? Uh, it's absolutely dead up here, there's nothing up here whatsoever. Yes, I know. <laughs> and it's the same for us. It's, it's a good like half an hour to an hour's walk away from home. completely on its own on the other side of Britannia Quarry, it's not posted yet. <laughs> not exactly what we planned for the day but We've got a little lamb. Um, the only other sheep you can hear are absolutely miles away down there. Um, and we're really high up, so I don't think it's the same lot. Um, there is like signs of sheep up here, but none so far. I haven't come across another sheep in this area. I know I filmed a sheep, some sheep earlier, but they were still miles away up, the, up in a different field. We have been walking a lot since then. So, but with how skinny it is, it's really, really skinny. You can see all its hip bones. Um, it's been up here on its own a while, I think. So I put a little shout out on Facebook. Lots of people have said they'll look after it, um, but it doesn't help the fact we're still in the middle of nowhere and I have to bring it down from the hills first. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So my Facebook post, somebody we think has identified whose lamb it is, because um, apparently farmers know whose lambs are whose. Um, and it shouldn't be where we found it. So we've got to take it home. <laughs> so we've got to take it home and see if we can get it to drink anything. Um, and then hopefully it will come and pick it up from us. We're still a mile away from home yet. <laughs> it's absolutely roasting. See, look at the size and how fat them lambs are compared to this 
skinny little dude. Skinny skinny. Skinny. Yeah. Shoves its head right into, into your neck. Like it, mum. <laughs> the cart's on a leash. <laughs> That's good. Goats are out for a little walk in the grass. There's a little goat out. <laughs> Hello, goats. on the way we have found a woman who knows who the owner is so she's going to come and take him and feed him because he's only super tiny and then he will eventually end up with the original owner. Lamb is now safe, back in the barn with a full belly full of milk. She brought a bottle for it and it drank the whole thing. I was just editing it back and it looked like we'd just found the lamb, picked it up and took it home. <laughs> but we had actually looked for its mum for ages. We hadn't just decided on a whim to pick it up and bring it home. We did look around for quite a while, but she did say that if it's a sheep's first lamb, sometimes they just don't know what to do with them and they'll just leave them and walk away. Um, and we're guessing that's pretty much what happened because we couldn't find a body of a sheep or if it had got stuck anywhere and you know if you've watched all these vlogs how many sheep we walk past on our walks we see sheep all the time and the lambs are always right at the side of mum or following mum and this one was just in the middle of nowhere so at least it's been saved um, another thing just before I go as well if you haven't been over on Instagram I will leave it well I'll leave it linked below anyway but I'll pop it on screen You'll have seen we launched something called Rad Slabs. They're not ready yet. We're, we're still waiting for a lot of things to come through the post. Everything seems to be taking just a little bit longer. But we did get our little slips today. So there's the logo. I just designed this in Photoshop because I am a sucker for a new logo. So they are chocolate bars or chocolate slabs. Chunky ones. They're, we've weighed a couple. Um, and they're anywhere between 270 grams to almost 300 grams full of chocolate and sweets. So if you haven't seen that yet, pop over and have a look at them. I assume stuff will start arriving this week or next week and then hopefully we'll start being able to get them in the shop. We've made them so they're postable, hopefully, depending on the weather. I'm having nightmares already about the chocolate bars being in a hot Royal Mail van on his deliveries and them just arriving as chocolate soup with a couple of toffees floating around in them. But fingers crossed they'll be alright. I hope everybody has been enjoying the warm weather we have. It's another nice day today and I will see you again in the next one.